Hey, this video is just an update on the M1 performance on Cubase 12. So far, I've been very impressed with it. At the minute, on this project, I have a bunch of stuff running. So I've got basically P42 Climax from Pulsar Modular, the VX Console SSL 9000J, which is now running native. And then Rezo, which is helping to tame a bunch of issues with the source audio, which was just caused by being recorded so long ago with really, really amateur gear back in the early 2000s. But yeah, on all the groups, basically got the BX console running, which is one of the more power hungry console emulations that Plugin Alliance has. Really, really nice, really nice compressor, really sweet EQ, nice and transparent. Rezo, I've got running, I've just manually set it up on most tracks. It's running really well. You see there, I've got 7th Heaven Professional running as well. This is all running on an M1 MacBook Air. A ping pong delay, I've got Split EQ from Eventide running on it too. Which I have had a few sort of issues with the graphical user interface being a little bit laggy. But I'm going to submit a report to even to hide and see what they can do. They asked me to submit it. So at least they're being really attentive about that. Really cool plugin though. Other stuff that has just gone native. Obviously you've got the plugin alliance stuff. So all the Amic, Ampeg, black box, analog design, mid side. All the mag stuff, all the Elysia, purple audio. Shadow Hills. Vertigo VSC2 and VSM3. Then as well as that, I have Softube stuff just got updated as well, so you have Softube tape. I'll probably go ahead and add that to all the buses on various tracks that I'm working on with the M1, but the optimization of the M1 versions of plugins, the native Apple Silicon versions compared to Rosetta 2, it's no contest at all. I mean, for, for having a M1 MacBook Air, I mean, it's using about 50 percent and like obs is using a good portion of that probably as well so yeah really well optimized i could easily work an entire project on this and this is just a base model of macbook air as i say other stuff that is running native now as well the acoustica the slate vsx is not unfortunately yet but i am able to run sienna guru so i've got all the sort of room emulations, car emulations, different things that I can check translation on. So that's all working really well. Um, Good Hertz also released their own beta. So that's really good as well. Gulf OS, I just found out the other day is running native. So I've got Gulf OS Live, Gulf OS Master, and just regular Gulf OS. Let's see what else. All the Fire Sonic stuff from United Plugins, so Fire Master, Fire Charger, Fire Presser, etc. All really useful. All the Eventide stuff. So Black Hole Reverb, one of my favorite reverbs. It's running native now. Split EQ, as I say, I only just picked it up, really cool. Instant phaser. So there's a ton of stuff now running native. The majority of my stuff really is running native in QBS 12. D16, Torverb, really cool reverb for people that work on electronic music, but just a really cool creative modular, modulated reverb. The Hornet stuff. So song key, which is really useful for me because I do everything by ear and every now and again I want to know 
what key I'm playing in. For weirdly, when I play the piano, I need to know what key it's in. But when it's guitar and vocals, I just do it by ear. Liquid Sonic, so the Seventh Heaven Professional. All the mastering and the mix stuff, so bass room levels, rezo. Are all working really well. Seem to be very well optimized. So that's cool. Presonus, that channel. All the SPL stuff from Plugin Alliance. So SPL iron, stuff like that. All the BX stuff. BX Master Desk. BX Townhouse. Really nice plus compressor. I mean, it's great to have all of these available natively now. All the acoustic stuff as well, but I don't really have that much of it installed on this machine because it, it tends to be a bit system heavy. I've got Sienna on it because Slate don't have a version of BSX available yet. So I'm using Sienna Guru with a pair of Hi-Fi Man Sundara headphones that I picked up on an Amazon warehouse deal. So I'll probably do a review of Sienna and the Sundara and how they're working on a few other headphones including VSX and how it works with Sienna. So I'll have that up pretty soon. United plugins, all their stuff's working really well. Quick AG. Some of this stuff hasn't been activated on this computer yet. Um, Quick Bass. Unichannel, which is sort of like a modular channel strip plugin where you can switch it out for Brit, US, German, and all the different modules. So that you can, like an API. You've got your preamp sections are switchable too. Really, really nice plugin. You can slam it. I've found it on the drum bus. It sounds really cool. I'll probably have a. No, oh, it's not activated yet, so it's giving me some noise. But I'll probably have a video up on that soon. And yeah, I mean, that's a ton of really useful plugins that have now gone native and just in the last week or two. And hopefully. It'll not be long till others follow. I'm looking forward to having all the Slate stuff running native. Also, virtual instruments and things like that. So if I go to VSTI. Got contact. So it's now running natively. I've already got a video up of that, just testing performance. All my libraries for contact are on an external drive, apart from a couple. I'll load up Shimmer Sheik Strike. But yeah, it's running really well natively too. I think it actually runs better on native Apple Silicon than it ever has on Intel based systems. Let's see. BX Oberhosen. So that's not apparently run. I didn't realize that. Oh, and he's activated on this computer. NIF Audio. So it's running on this too. It was a killer on Intel, like it really just eats CPU for breakfast, so be interested to see how it's running on the M1 MacBook Air. So we've got Halley and Sonic SE that came with Cubase 12 plus Hatch Up and Retro Log, which I'm not sure if they're supported anymore. But yeah, they're all running fine. So you can see their QBase is running in Apple mode. OBS is still running in Intel mode, so it's using more resources than it really needs to. But yeah, the state of things on Apple Silicon right now is actually looking really good. There's only a few developers left that I really want to release native Apple Silicon versions. As I say, Slate is one of them, and Slate Audio. But yeah, performance is buttery smooth. Everything's sweet in terms of performance. I haven't had any hiccups. I haven't had, haven't had any crashes. And uh, 
I've just been throwing plugins onto the tracks left, right, and center, and haven't had any issues. The previous version of QBS 11 that was running in Rosetta mode, if I had thrown a bunch of SSL 9000J plugins across this many tracks, even one or two instances, it started to become a bit sort of, I wouldn't say in, unstable, but not very responsive. I'll leave a list in the description of all the plugin developers that are now running natively that I have. But yeah, hopefully people find this insightful, and I'll be back with more videos soon. Cheers.